Need a little bit more space. Okay. And then I have this one more one over here. Three, four, one, two. Okay. So uh, I've decided for whatever reason to to draw five pictures instead of just drawing uh, one picture because I think it will be easier to follow. But that might be that might be wrong. Um, okay. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm I'm ready to go now. I think I want to label these points. Um, in a in a in the standard way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven, uh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, uh, fifteen, sixteen. Uh, okay. And now I just do it, man. Uh, these ones are telling me basically define a line to be um, the set of points that all share the same number. And so one 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 means I have a line of ones. 2, 2, 2, 2 means I have a line of 2's. 3, 3, 3 means I have a line of 3's, and here I have a line of 4's. Uh, and so, uh, this square, uh, which enforces uh, the row property of any Latin square, sort of gives me immediately the, the common sense uh, set of equivalence classes of parallel lines. Uh, or, or just the equivalence class of parallel lines. So what I'm really doing is here, the goal is to create a finite projective plane of order 4, uh, which is a finite projective plane in which every line has 5 points. Uh, and every point is on exactly five lines. And the way we do that, as I was saying in today's uh, ninth grade Zoom call, is you just create the affine, this is really an algorithm to create the affine uh, model of order n, and then we just projectivize it by adding the points at infinity. And so this uh, Latin square uh, has produced in green uh, these um, uh, uh, four lines. And then the last thing I'm going to do, but I don't really have a space here, Tiny whiteboard is really cramping my style. Um, but hopefully this is clear. Uh, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to add another point. Let's call it point 17. And point 17 is just the intersection of all these lines. Sha, sha, and sha. Okay, and now I just do it again over here, right? So now I have, uh, and I'm just going to stop draw, oops, I'm going to stop drawing the, um, I'm going to stop drawing the, the, the names of the points, because like, whatever, I'll just leave that to you, um, but uh, here we have, uh, so that, that was, that was associated with this Latin square, so green check, because this, this square is now sort of done, uh, now let's go to this square, the other sort of boring one, well now you just, yeah, you just connect a line through the ones, you connect a line through the twos, a line through the threes, and a line through the fours, uh, and uh, so check, uh, and then I need to add another point. Um, so, okay, I ran out of space, so I'll put it here. It's the intersection of all of the uh, of all of the lines of this equivalence class of parallel lines in the affine model. So let's call this 18. Think of 18 as the point at infinity for this set of parallel lines. Okay, so that was like kind of lame. Now it gets fun though. Um, but I think you, I, I can almost just stop talking. You just, you just know what to do, right? Make a line through the ones. So that's one line. Uh, make a line through the twos. Um, so, all right, how you draw this is a little bit up to you. Um, but the picture does get a little crazy, which is why I thought it was clear to, to do it uh, over again. Uh, so a line through the twos. A line through the threes. Um, so, uh, what have I done? Uh, yeah. And a line through the fours. Ta-da. Okay, and so this is the somewhat unintuitive, uh, this is one equivalence class of parallel lines. Uh, of course these lines are all parallel because um, they, they, none of these lines intersect, that's just a fact. Uh, of course the lines appear to be crossing, but that's just our streaks on the paper. There's no point that goes through, um, there's no point uh, among these 16 points uh, that, that two of these lines pass through. Well, of course there isn't, because and then he, this, this, um, this equivalence class of parallel lines comes directly from this Latin square. And uh, in this Latin square, uh, there, there is in any, given, in any given spot in the Latin square one number. So that means that there's only one line that can go through any given point uh, here. Duh. But also, uh, there are precisely um, 
Uh, there's precisely one uh, uh, number in each row uh, uh, of, of 1, 2, 3, 4, and precisely one number 1, 2, 3, 4 in each column. So of course there are exactly four ones and exactly four twos and exactly four threes and exactly four fours. Uh, and so uh, we get uh, four lines. Uh, and uh, those lines each have four points on them, and so this is just a perfect uh, category of parallel lines. Okay, and these lines are all going to intersect somewhere, uh, so now I add a another point, point, this is terrible, point, um, I don't know, like 19 or something like that, and what is point 19? It's a point that all these lines go through. Sha, two, and, I mean, this is almost silly to draw it, because the drawing is, is not really what's going on. Uh, oh, and do I, have I, do I win? No, that's, this is kind of terrible. Hold on. Uh, I don't want to do it like this. Uh, there we go. And then, where's the fourth line? This one, right? So I should have put my point like over there, that would have been better, um, but whatever. Um, having some art problems, yeah. Okay, so uh, that is the, the point at infinity for that equivalence class of parallel lines. Okay, and you just keep on going. Uh, where, uh, where's the line through the ones? Uh, in this model, um, so, so now I'll put, a, I'll put a sort of red check, so that's what this, that's what this uh, line square got me. Uh, and then, um, and maybe already it's worth it to mention that uh, the reason why this had to be a line square and not just any random way of drawing lines that don't intersect each other, after all that's not that hard to do, um, the reason why it had to be a line square is because what it really means to be a Latin square is that it's orthogonal to this square and this square. So taking just this square, if I know that my Latin square uh, with the red check mark is orthogonal to this square right here, then what that really means, well the definition of what it means for this square to be orthogonal to the square is that no two ordered pairs repeat. But if no two ordered pairs repeat, then that's just another, that's just a way of saying geometrically that no line uh, that, there's, that there's no ordered pair sort of uh, on both of these, there's just another way of saying that no line, uh, one of these lines or one of these lines intersects in two places. If these two squares were not orthogonal, then there would have to be an ordered pair that repeated. If there were an ordered pair that repeated, then there would have to be, um, uh, then, 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 if, if we were going this one comma this one, uh, the ordered pairs, then it would mean there would be some line uh, that intersected one of these lines in two different places. And since that's not true, uh, I, am, I am sort of forcing this to be, uh, fine. I, I'm forcing these two um, different equivalence classes of parallel lines to be, uh, to, to satisfy uh, FPP2. Yeah. Uh, and uh, FPP2 says that no two lines, no two distinct lines can intersect at two distinct points, and none will as long as you base the, 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 uh, the parallel lines in uh, orthogonal squares. And that's, that's really just it. That's the whole thing. There's now uh, a line of ones. Okay, this is, I have no idea how to draw this, so I'll just try my best. Um, uh, yeah, and then like up here or something? Uh, maybe I want to do like that. <laughs> okay, so that's a line, that's the first line, the line through the ones. Then there's the line through the twos. Uh, could have helped to practice this part, uh, at least. Um, let's see, uh, the twos, and then there's like a two here, and a two there. Jeez. Uh, then there are the threes. What do the threes look like? Um, so... Um, uh, 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 I'm finding this to be so difficult, but good thing uh, the math is right, so the art doesn't have to be. And then there's a line through the fours. Perhaps four colors would have been a good choice. Uh, well, anyway, um, then fours and um, wow, four. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> That's so terrible. Um, but anyway, it's, it's right. All four of those blue lines I just drew are all parallel to each other. Uh, because it's just the line through the ones, line through the twos, line through the threes, and line through the fours. And since this square is um, orthogonal to this square, then it has the property that when you compare these uh, four lines and these four lines, no uh, pair will intersect in two places. And since it's a Latin, since this is a Latin square, it's also orthogonal to this square, which means that none of these blue lines and none of these green lines will uh, intersect at two places. And since these are orthogonal to each other, then I know that no ordered pair repeats, which is to say that there's no red line and no blue line that meet in two different places. Okay, and uh, of course I have to add the, the last point. Uh, I'm not even gonna, gonna try to draw it, I'm just giving up. But there's a point 20, which all four of these blue lines go through. And then, uh, in the purple lines, I just do it again. Um, I think there's a, there's a pretty way to do this, but I just don't know what it is. Uh, I feel I've done this in the past and haven't had this much trouble. But, um, so be it. Okay, so that's one. Uh, two is here. Uh, so that's two, um, twos. Then the threes are wherever they are, man. The three and the four is going to be just like everything else. Oh yeah, so clear. So these four purple lines, uh, once again, uh, they're all parallel to each other. Uh, it's an equivalence class. Uh, there, it's a Latin square, this is. So therefore, these four pur purple lines uh, don't intersect twice with any of the green lines or the black lines. And because it was a square that was orthogonal to each of these two squares, then the purple lines uh, have that same property with the blue lines and have that same property with the red lines that no two, that no two intersect. Uh, okay, uh, and then I add a point 21, uh, and the final thing to do is to write out, uh, to, to make a line through uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. And so send, if you were going to finish this problem, which I'm not going to do right now, you would just uh, meticulously write out then your, uh, and Gossett said don't bother drawing, just write it out, but I think the picture's nice. So then you would just write out all your lines. What are all your lines? Well, one line is, um, is, is, is 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 17. Another line is uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 17. Another line is 9, uh, 10, 11, 12, 17. Another line is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And so that, that is those, that's those four lines, the green ones. And if I'm doing the purple one, well, I don't want to. Let's just do one of them. Uh, it's going to be point uh, one, um, uh, I guess, eight, and nine, ten, and fifteen, and twenty-one. Um, and I got that from just reading the ones off of this, off of this picture. And so when you're all done listing, there will be, um, there will be uh, 4 times 5 equals 20 uh, normal lines. Um, and then the final line is the, the line at infinity through 17, 18, 19, uh, 20, and 21. Woo! Okay. This is, uh, I think, uh, quite pretty. This is the algorithm for uh, converting from a set of mutually orthogonal uh, Latin squares to a finite projective plane. I'm going to just like, take a picture of this. It's so crazy. Whew. Okay, uh, last one is number 29, and 29 is like the reverse. Maybe I should pause this. No, I'll just keep going. Whew. Uh, 29 is the reverse. I don't know. Uh, hopefully you guys feel now by the end of this little unit that this was, well, worth it seems a little bit strong, but it's at least really, really cool. Uh,
Okay, uh, so 29, oh god, uh, use blah 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 blah. Um, so now we are going to recover the uh, three mutually unified no line squares of order four uh, by, uh, from, from these lines. Uh, am I prepared for this? I'm going to pause this really quick so you don't have to watch me write these things and I'll also collect my thoughts on how to do this.